In the next 10 minutes, I'll show you how to access thousands of dollars worth of AWS training for free. These are perfect for beginners to cloud computing, looking to learn AWS without spending a fortune. As a self-taught cloud engineer at a top bank in London, I spent countless hours finding the best free courses online so you don't have to waste your time. These courses are easy to understand, covers useful content, and are perfect for beginners. But to start, you might be thinking, are free courses even worth your time? So many people might assume that free AWS courses are low quality. They believe that because these courses are offered for free, they must be lacking in depth for value. But I think this is a misconception and it could lead to people missing out on great opportunities to learn AWS. In reality, there are three reasons why I think free courses offer a lot of value, especially for beginners. Firstly, the cloud industry changes fast. So staying up to date with the latest tech and best practices is crucial for people looking to work in this area. A lot of free courses are actually offered directly by Amazon themselves. So you can be sure that the content is updated regularly and is relevant for the current job market. Secondly, let's be honest, learning AWS can be very hard for beginners, especially with the huge amount of services and concepts to understand. So you want to make this as easy as possible by picking the right course that's right for your learning style. Well, one of the significant advantages of free AWS courses is the range of different formats available. For example, interactive labs, video lectures, or even a game. This flexibility makes it easier to start learning AWS. Finally, if you're just starting to learn cloud, you might not be 100% sure yet that you're committed to learning it in a huge amount of detail. In this case, the idea of spending $100 on a course isn't really that appealing. Free courses solve this by letting you sort of test the waters. There's no cost and there's no risk. These courses often include practical projects that let you apply your skills in real world situations. So you can see what working with cloud technology is actually like before you commit to buying more courses and spending your time and money. So hopefully now you're convinced that free courses are actually worth it and you're now ready to learn AWS. But before you start learning about AWS, you need to understand the foundational IT concepts that these services rely on. If I had to go back and learn AWS from scratch, this would definitely be one of the first things that I do. And good news, there's a free course for that. For a lot of people wanting to learn AWS, it's tempting to dive right in with a course that covers only AWS services. But I think this is a mistake. It's important to first understand computer networking fundamentals. Why? Well, many AWS services rely heavily on networking and it's something that's really unavoidable if you want to use AWS in a real job. But a lot of people neglect learning this. So when they're asked about networking in a job interview, they struggle. To see why this is so important, think about it from the employer's perspective. Let's say you're asked to set up a web application using AWS. You'll need to configure things like load balancers, create subnets and set up routing tables. Now, don't worry if these sound like a different language for now. The course that I recommend later on will explain this all. But if you don't understand how all of these components work together from a networking perspective, you'll likely make mistakes and spend hours troubleshooting issues that could have been avoided. Some people might argue that they can learn networking as they study AWS. And to be honest, this is what I thought at first too. But let me tell you from personal experience, this approach leads to gaps in understanding and actually makes it harder to learn networking later on. It's like trying to build a house without a strong foundation. It might work for a while, but eventually cracks will appear and the structure will become unstable. But the good news is there's actually a free networking course that's specifically designed as a prerequisite before learning AWS. This is Adrian Cantrell's free networking fundamentals playlist on YouTube. In my opinion, Adrian explains things in a way that's very easy to understand, especially for beginners. The networking fundamentals playlist covers enough material to make it easy to begin working with AWS services that require networking. And it doesn't take too long either. But after you've learned networking and start to learn AWS, it's important to follow a structured learning plan. Otherwise, you might waste your time learning things that aren't actually used much. Well, there's a free course for that. This course is ideal for beginners or anyone with some general business knowledge looking to develop their technical skills. It's created by AWS themselves, so the content has been specifically curated to give you a crash course in the most important topics. But one of the best things is that it doesn't just focus on the technical stuff. It's also useful for learning about why businesses want to be on the cloud and what benefits it gives them. And this is really useful knowledge that beginners often overlook. The course I'm talking about here is the Cloud Practitioner Essentials from AWS Skill Builder. This free seven hour course covers essential AWS information like core cloud concepts, the core AWS services, security, architecture, pricing, and support. What I particularly like is that it's quite interactive. There are regular tests in each module so that you can make sure that you understand the content being covered. The course is also great if you want to achieve the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification, as the content is pretty much designed around the exam. There are even some practice questions at the end that act as a kind of mock test. 
But what if you already have some basic knowledge about AWS? Let's say that you've already got a bit of an understanding on the core cloud concepts, but you're not quite confident on object storage, for example. Well, with the next course, you can tailor your training on specific areas. These are mini courses that have been created by AWS and is designed with flexibility in mind. You can progress at your own pace and choose the learning path that's right for you. For example, there's learning paths on general topics like compute and networking, but also some deep dives into specific services like Amazon EKS. This targeted approach is what I like the most because it lets you build expertise around a particular area. And these mini courses are known as the AWS learning badges provided by AWS. In my experience, when you start a career, you'll probably focus most of your time on a particular area within AWS. After all, there's too many services to be an expert at all of them. So these learning badges are a great way to start exploring the areas that interest you the most. You're also able to gain a badge that you can share on platforms like LinkedIn if you complete the whole course. Now, although AWS certifications are more attractive for employers, you also have to pay for those exams and spend a long time studying for them. Whereas the learning badges are free and usually shorter. So they're a great option for people looking to showcase their skills in a particular area within AWS. As we've seen, it's important that courses are structured well and covers the concepts that you need to know. If they're not structured well, this can lead to gaps in understanding in how AWS services work together in real world situations. And this is really important if you have a job working with AWS. Some free courses also lack hands-on labs and exercises, which are really important for gaining confidence. Without this hands-on practice, it will lead to struggles when you actually try and build stuff. But the AWS Fundamentals specialization from Coursera solves these problems. This is a course taught by instructors working for AWS. It offers a structured learning plan that covers a wide range of AWS topics. This course takes you from the basics to then touching on some of the more advanced architecture concepts. It covers topics such as core AWS services, key security concepts, migrating from on-premises to AWS, and basics of building serverless applications. This interconnected approach is one of the main advantages of this course, as it means that students can see how different AWS services work together in real life use cases. Aside from being useful for you to know in general, this kind of knowledge is also very useful for job interviews. There are also hands-on labs developed by AWS instructors, which in my opinion are the most valuable part of any course. And although it's not an official certification prep course, the content is very similar to what is required for the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification. So if you take the course, you would be in a very good position to try and pass the exam. But this is a video course. And even though video courses are a great way to study AWS, it can get boring at times. But what if you could learn AWS by playing a game? Let's face it, learning AWS is hard, especially if you're new to it. Many video courses can be boring and make it tough to stay motivated. But there's actually a new way to learn that's more fun and engaging. Imagine if you could learn AWS while playing a game. You get to create your own character and explore a virtual city, talking to people and completing quests. It's like an adventure that teaches you cloud skills at the same time. The game is designed to keep you engaged and motivated. As you progress, you'll unlock new areas, earn rewards and level up your character. The game slash course that I'm talking about here is the AWS Cloud Quest Cloud Practitioner. This is an interactive game created by AWS that focuses on teaching the foundational cloud concepts in a fun way. You can even practice what you learn without worrying about making mistakes or spending money. You know, other courses also have labs, but in my opinion, this one is different. The fact that the content is presented as a game makes it much more interesting. And for some people, this will be a better learning method. To support this, one student says the approach on this course focused on teaching the material, then having me apply it so that I'm learning information, not reiterating it. You're also preparing for the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification. The quests and challenges are based on actual exam questions, so you'll be ready to take the test when the time comes. But even though free courses offer a great learning path for beginners, it's not enough to get a cloud job. To give your application the best chance, you have to tailor it for the specific job that you want. But with so many different cloud jobs out there, from solutions architect to cloud engineer, which one is right for you? Pick the wrong one and you could be stuck doing tasks that you don't enjoy and lose out on a higher salary. So to make sure that you pick the cloud job that's right for you and to find out what each one is being paid, you're going to want to watch this video.